Hey, how are you? I'm good. Good. Good to hear. Okay, we got another deck doctor today. Um, you said before we start recording, I have new restrictions. I've got new stuff that I have to work on. So what are you thinking with your death symboled snipe deck? Well, first of all, the, res the restri main restrictions are still the whole budget thing. Mm -hmm. But now I'm willing to keep my deck within the 50s. Nothing 60 or ab above. Nothing 60 or above. You mean this? This number? Correct. Also, here's the theme. Okay. Halloween's coming up. Right. So I wanted to go for something a little more sinister. Sure, 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 sure. With a few um slight implications for all the manga viewers there. Okay. Also, I'm trying to figure out well I only want to use one type of action or one type of asset. I'm just sure, not sure which one. The special edition collectible or the uh, evil gaze erase? Correct. Either okay. one of the three. Okay. 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 Um, let me see what I can do. I have to go look for death symboled spooky cards. The good news is you've already done most of the work for me. Also, the. The best genus thing is just for comic relief. The best genus thing. Oh, and and then I'm <laughs> funny. But it was a nightmare to Bakugo. <laughs> funny, funny, funny. Okay. Halloween themed deck. Uh okay. Alright. Uh any particular reason why snipe as as the character running it? Because the original character in question would have been a major spoiler. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Fair. Fair, 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 fair. Um, I think that this card is good. Um, we're looking. We're looking. You could tell Hollywood. this is kind of like a subtle um, memoriam deck. Yeah. Um. My watch is cool. Um. Did I stump you this time? No, I'm just looking. I'm looking. Uh, I'm just trying to figure... I'm adding cards to our sideboard. Okay. Uh, I am almost done. Almost done. Okay, so uh, Halloween-based, right? Halloween-based. Uh, here Car are the cards that I've added to make it Halloween-based. Not, I think you found all the spooky cards, right? The scary cards. The only the only scary card that I can maybe add, and this is very much a joke, is just piercing needle. Because, you know, the, the idea of, like, you know, you got to check your candy because there could be, like, razor blades and stuff in it. I think that's a funny joke. But I don't think it necessarily needs to be in the deck. You know? Oh, no. Togo would totally be the type to use um, needles and candy. Right, right, right. Okay, so we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it. So... Um, from there, from there, I put in window shopping because it looks like he's shopping for a Halloween costume. And I think that's funny. <laughs> right? Um, nice. It's just like a maybe. I can't believe you didn't include snack time. This guy eats oh, candy. That <laughs> that's for next month's deck. <laughs> and then the I thought the price for piece was funny because it looks like he has a tummy ache. <laughs> 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 um, I, don't, I don't think this one's going to be added just because this one's a little tough to get because it's one of the uh, set one provisional promos. So unless you have like the redemption points to go get, I just thought this would be funny to, to put in it. Redemption I, point? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The redemption points uh, on the website. If you uh, send in pack wrappers or play in any amount of uh, uh, tournaments, um, they give you a free point that you can then trade in for promos. 
Oh, that's cool. Maybe yeah. I'll use it to get midnight. You definitely should. That character's sweet. Um, um, actually, um, that's kind of important because let's just say my deck for Valentine's Day is appropriately entitled Midnight is Too Expensive. Too Expensive. Hey, well, you know what? Um, if... I'm positive if you got like a bunch of pack wrappers, you can send them in and, and figure it out. I, I don't, I don't think that I don't think that it's too terribly tough to, to get yourself a midnight. Anywho, Thanks. let's talk about the deck. Let's talk about the deck. Uh, I think that the action between these three that you should play is just a race, and that's exclusively because of budget. Unless you already have evil gazes. Do you have any evil gaze? Unfortunately, not. I got into this card game a long time after the first set came out. Fair. And I think a race is the right call because it's just, you know, it's an uncommon, right? I think playing four races is very, very good. But eventually, if you do happen to like, you know, somebody's giving out, um, uh, somebody's giving out a uh, set one prizing or, or you you find them by, uh, find them for cheap. I think evil gaze is a totally fine replacement. Um, and you could just replace them one for one, right? Or even like any number of evil gazes that you have, they should go in the deck over top of the erases. And we have to play a race. We have to play this card in the main board just because we're playing Nightwatch. Ah, well, basically, I was trying to go for an evil eye motif. Right, 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 right. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, speaking of which, speaking of which, we've got 50, we're going to go 50 ish cards. Are there any attacks that we could want to maybe take out? Um, oh, oh, I already have a copy of Blue Flame Spiral. Beautiful. Beautiful. This card's red. Um, we have no high blocks. Sludge is interesting. It's ranged, though, so that works with a character. Uh, okay, here's what I'm thinking. I know this uh, Viscous Lunge is a good card. My one worry about it is the fact that it is a to check down here and i think that's gonna be Ooh. difficult for your curve to make work and so i think we should just i'm gonna put this in the sideboard for now i think we should just take out the viscous lunge altogether and just toss in these four piercing needles um i can't make this a budget deck to begin with first and foremost because i don't know how much this card this card this card this card or this card is going to cost i don't know i have no idea well, um, to be fair, I think Blue Flame Palm Strike will probably be the cheapest. It is a common, right? But it could be a $75 common, and I just don't know it, Oof. right? Yeah, I highly doubtful, but it, it is it is probable, uh, possible, not probable. Um, and so we might have to we might have to vi revisit this once the set drops and and, and prices settle and, and we figure out like that like hey we can't do four piercings, right? We'll, we'll figure it out. Okay. Um, from here, let's look at the uh, let's look at the foundation base. First and foremost, I think not much is really good, but because it has the unique keyword, we're gonna drop it down to a two of. Uh, not because the card's not good, but because this card this this word is going to be tough on us, and we're just gonna slam in four of this snack time and do the same thing on spooky, just because of this word being tough to play around. Hasn't changed our number yet. Uh, let's look at our stats. We've got nine low blocks. Low blocks. Low blocks anywhere? Looking at low blocks? Okay, let's go back to the cutting room floor. Um, <laughs> let's go find some amount of low blocks. Please. Uh. Huh. I was considering tight lipped. Tight lipped is a cool one, but it's not a low block, and that's I think the main thing that your deck is missing. Um. I see this card. I see this card. I see this card. Um, I see these three cards as being like the closest to on theme of forcing surrender, struggling studies, and glamorous. Um, this is not very Halloweeny though. Maybe certainly with Shigaraki. Not. <laughs> Maybe there's something with Shigaraki. Uh, not on foundations. The only the only low block foundation we have is 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 villainous entrance, right? Yeah. Right. We've got I guess late riser is technically a low block. It's a four low, and you're not you're not playing any combos. The card's just dead in your deck. You could also just do arrogant disposition. I don't I don't know. Like that's a this an angry Bakugo card. Well, this is a memorial. Oh, eh good point it is a good point it is a good point
Yeah, it could work. <laughs> it's a good point. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's let's toss him in. Let's toss him four big ones. You know? <laughs> yeah, go for it. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's see. What else? What else? What else? We're at sixty-one. I think you're right. I don't think we need indenimed. Um, this one was. This is a very funny card. If you want to leave in the big funny card, I think we should just play it at a one of, and be and okay. be, be fine. Um. Uh, fifty-eight. This is one of the cleanest decks that you've you've let me do for you. I like it. Um, Wait, really? How come? Uh, th just like the block zones are like like uh are coming out very even for the idea. I like it. Uh, we get to put this at a two of just to get our numbers down a little bit. And then we've got twenty-one attacks. I think this is the lowest we can actually go at with with this number being so high. If we wanted to cut any number of these from like fours down to threes, right? Like twisting Zero Inferno could easily be like like a two of, and that would like get our number down a little tighter. Um, I like piercing needle. I like sludge. Quick draw is very good in your deck. This is good. This could be a three of. Eighteen, twenty-three, and we could put up. A seven hander. We could have two more cards on our main board. What could they be? If anything, if anything, we could do like. Do you like window shopping? Do you like that idea of him going Halloween shopping or no? Sure. Yeah, let's put it at two of them. Although, I think we could call um, ourselves a day. I, I just saw something regarding Dupla arms. Dupla arms. Yep. Counters. Yeah. Uh, we don't get to play that ability because we don't. We're not Shoji. We are Snipe. True. Um, yeah, but the form reveal the top card of your deck, you can play the revealed card as your next form, is an incredibly powerful ability. It's very, very good. You, like, see that it's an attack you want to play, and you can just play it. Or you see that it's a foundation on top, you can either just play the foundation you want to play, or you can choose not to play it, and then guarantee pass your next check. Because you have seen there's a five on top. Or even better, like a six. Or a six, right? That works. Give me one more second to go look at something. Okay. Hmm. Rough. Okay. Uh. I think. I think that's it. I think. I think this is the deck. I think this this deck really really works. Um, I think the only thing that we might have a small issue is, is I don't know how much Twisting Azure Infernos are going to be. I don't know how much Piercing Needles are going to be. Um, but I think Sludges are going to be, uh, fairly cheap. Um, I think that's a very, very hey, easy uh, card to get. How come? How come? How come I think Sludge is going to be, uh, easy or cheap? Yeah, it's an ultra rare. It is an ultra rare, but I, I think that if you have one momentum attack, uh, uh, it, it's going to be a little tough to pull off in most decks. I think some decks are going to play that card exceptionally well, right? And you're going to get a lot out of this card because it has the range keyword and it interacts with your character really well. Um, but I think getting that momentum to be impactful in competitive play, right? Which um, currently in our game, the only reason that cards cost a lot is because they are good in competitive play. Um, I think this card is going to be looked over competitively. That being said, mean, on the opposite end, like, Twisting Azure Inferno is going to be very, very competitively played. So this is probably gonna be the most expensive card in your deck. So we'll just have to see where the prices land, but it could be like, it could be $7, it might be $20. I honestly could not tell you. Hey, that's fine. Yeah. Any thoughts? Anything that you, you disagree with or you don't like? I still want to put a special edition collectible for side. We can put it one in the main board. Really? We, yeah, we can do that. Yeah, let's not make our numbers too big. 16, 27, it, 13. These are fine numbers. Well, like I said, it's I wanted to at least include one copy of that card for obvious reasons. Yeah, 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 yeah. I dig it. This was incredibly fun. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, any last minute thoughts before before we uh, before I send you back your deck list? Just a simple thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you for the support. I I, I appreciate it. These these challenges every month are very very fun, and uh, awesome. you know obviously, happy Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. All right.